Hello chess fans, uh, uh, here is uh, again Grandmaster Misha Pop and uh, welcome uh, to my new series uh, and this time I, I will be talking about endgames and uh, not only talking, uh, showing some instructive examples and explaining uh, to my best ability uh, so what is this all about? Uh, title is uh, Endgame Masterclass and uh, as you already know probably there are so many so many books and different material uh, you know these uh, uh, different training videos where you can learn uh, uh, not only basic endgames but you can also learn uh, you know some uh, typical endgame positions and so on and so on so you can build up your theoretical knowledge in endgame and I'm not saying that's a bad thing that's a very good thing because every uh, aspiring player and every you know solid amateur uh, needs to know uh, something about endgames uh, of course if you're aspiring player and you want to improve uh, you need to uh, have a little bit more knowledge about endgames obviously uh, but a good uh, starting point if you are just starting you need to first uh, you know uh, conquer those basic end games and as I said you can fi find them in many different books there are so many books I don't want to uh, you know give some titles here because then I can't quote or I can't uh, uh, recall immediately all those uh, uh, you know great books uh, what is then my focus in this uh, in this uh, video series uh, so video series will be around uh, 10 hours uh, long and uh, this endgame master class I will uh, simply divide of course the material in different chapters and uh, I will be showing I will be focusing on uh, practical application of endgame knowledge here so maybe sometimes I will also you know show you uh, which uh, theoretical position is applicable in that uh, in that position but uh, basically I will be focusing my attention on uh, explaining and uh, you know rationale uh, behind my decisions or you know, uh, grandmaster decisions which are uh, uh, here discussed, the, his games, uh, I mean, games which are used here. So mostly I will be using my own games because that's the way uh, how I can, uh, um, you know, give you more uh, in-depth insight uh, how grandmaster thinks in, in, in certain positions and how I applied my theoretical knowledge in in end games and sometimes okay sometimes you just have a, a position and uh, in end game and it's not like uh, some kind of typical uh, book example but if you have uh, your knowledge uh, if you have a solid basis then you have already some guidelines yes and then you can uh, really uh, you know steer the uh, the game steer the end game into your own direction you can you know uh, sort of uh, lead the way especially if your opponent uh, doesn't have a clue okay that's the best scenario for you of course but uh, even if your opponent knows something if you are better if you if your knowledge is uh, you know uh, greater if you have more practice in end games and more practical knowledge that also helps uh, so yes, my my focus, as I said, is uh, practical application of endgame knowledge here, and uh, I hope it will be helpful for you. Um, what else can I say? Of course, I will use some some famous examples, some uh, you know very instructive examples from from uh, Grandmaster practice, and uh, yes, I hope it will be it will be useful because somehow it seems to me that uh, uh, maybe there is not much material or, or I didn't notice about practical application of endgame knowledge 
Uh, you can find, uh, of course, very good analysis of some games, some tournaments and so on. Uh, but th those are, you know, games uh, or fragments of the games. Uh, but something like this, I think uh, you, you will not find in many places. So, as I said, uh, practical application of endgame knowledge and insight in how, uh, you know, uh, a Grandmaster thinks, how can, uh, how can I, you know, use my knowledge, what is working here, what, what might not work, and so on and so on. Uh, I will be doing my best and I hope that you will, you will like this. So, let's start and uh, enjoy!